This is a help video to show you how to use the more advanced tools in the interactive Island County Parcel Viewer application. In this second video, I'll go over how to use the Draw widget, which draws and annotates on the map, as well as using the Selection widget, which selects parcels and can even export the parcel data to a spreadsheet. So to draw a shape on the map, I'm first going to hit OK on the splash screen, and I'm going to click on this Draw button. Now for this first example, I'll use a point. But before you draw, you want to figure out which, um, what you want to draw with. If it's just a point, if it's text or a shape. So let me zoom into the map. And a, a good example to draw attention to a particular parcel is to probably just use a point. And I can select which type of point I want. And I just put that on the map. So text works similar to that. Except with text, I make sure I click text. And then I'm going to put some text in there. I want to choose the color. Typically white looks good. And then I'm going to put that on the map. Now once it's on the map, I can't move it, but I can clear it and try again. Now to use the Select Parcels tool, I click on the Select Parcels widget. and I'm going to go ahead and collapse this and click on that. And now if my goal is to create a list of the parcels I select, I want to make sure that I check this box and that I'm only looking at features intersecting the user-defined area, and then I click on this. Now it's kind of, it's not as intuitive as I'd like, so I'm going to show it a couple of different times. So the first time I'm going to use this line, and I'm just going to click and let go, and then double click, and then hit apply. And so now it's going to select those seven parcels that I looked at. And now if I wanted to actually see the attributes and to export that to CSV, I'm going to go to my layer list and click on this little drop down and then open up the attribute table. So from here, I can make sure I zoom out so they're all in the view and then click options and export all to CSV. And so now that's going to export it and I can save that spreadsheet. Um, so the first time you do this, it's going to be a little bit harder, but I'll show you how to do it one more time. So let's X out of here, and go back to our Select tool. I'm going to clear the results, and we're going to try it again. So make sure you use the Spatial Filter, and then you only want to show the intersecting user-defined area. And to look at the attribute table, I need to make sure I check Add Result as Operation Layer. So in this case, how about we just use a circle? and I just click to release. I hit apply and now it's going to select everything that touched that circle. So to look at that um, attribute table I'm going to go back to the layer list and then click on my drop down and open the attribute table and now I can see I had 62 features. I can click options and export all to CSV. So this is using the new Draw and Select tools. I hope that it helped.